Morning. Mm. What time is it? It's 8.30. Oh. Did you sleep well? Yeah, for about 10 minutes. Well, you can have the bed tonight. That's uh, all right. Oh, I'll sleep on the sofa. It's all right. Well, it's a luxury compared to Nepal. Well, I didn't sleep either, and I had the bed. Mm. <laughs> there you are. I don't see why, you know, now that we've actually got our own flat. It isn't our flat. Okay, right, now that we are staying in a flat together, I don't see why we can't share a bed. We used to share a bed when we hardly knew each other. Yeah, well, we know each other better now. Yeah, so we should be closer. I mean, that's the way it works, isn't it? I mean, the better you know someone, the closer you get to them. It isn't that straightforward. Yes, it is. You know it isn't. It is. But remember what you kept telling me in Nepal about how I think about things too much and I should just get on with it? Well, that is what you're doing now. You're thinking too much. Yeah, well, maybe what I said in Nepal was wrong. What do you mean? It's just that some things are too important to rush into them without thinking. Well, I wish you'd make up your mind. I'm gonna have a bath. Going out somewhere? Where? Never mind. You really want to get out of here, don't you? Well, yeah. Fine. Well, it's not unusual for people to leave the house during the day. Well, go then. Well, aren't you going to come with me? I thought maybe we could go shopping or something. Do you want me to come with you? Yes. Oh, I see. So you don't mind being with me just as long as it's nowhere private. Holly, stop it. Stop what? Stop being so insecure. I can't help it. You make me nervous. Well, that's wrong. I shouldn't make you nervous. I know, I'm just being a drag. No, you're not. I just thought... Go on, say it. Say what you're feeling. I just thought that after the other night, you know, when we kissed, I just thought you'd want to spend more time with me. Holly, I don't think the other night was such a good idea. What do you mean? Just that. It wasn't a good idea. Of course it was. It was really nice. Yes, I know. It was. But it might be better not to follow it through. It might be a good idea not to complicate things. Holly. It's all right. Holly, I, d I don't want you to get hurt. Don't worry, I won't. <clears throat> oh. I'm trying to read. Why have you gone so cold suddenly? I haven't. You have. It's like you're suddenly suspicious of everything I do. You're not listening to me, are you? I didn't think it was going to be like this. I didn't think what was going to be like this. I thought we were friends. We are. Yeah, but you're acting like you hardly know me. Well, you're acting like... What? A boyfriend. <sighs> yeah. Come in. Your brother. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. How do you mean, like a boyfriend? I don't mean it. Hiya. What are you doing here? Oh, good to see you too, Susie. Uh, it's not very convenient now, Doc. Well, I haven't had the most convenient day myself, actually. Why? What happened? It's my car. You weren't in an accident, were you? No. It's been nicked. Oh. What are you looking so happy about? Your pride and joy's been stolen. <laughs> Thirty grand that car cost me. Oh, well, the insurance will cover it. I'm going to have a bath. Does she want me to go? No, she's not getting at you. Sorry for interrupting something. You didn't interrupt anything. Well, it all seems a bit cosy here, doesn't it? You know, the two of you. Are you about to say something horrible? No. It's almost like man and wife. And what do you mean by that? Do you really want me to tell you? Yes, I do. She's screwing you up. Oh, Duncan, mind your own business. You just said that you wanted to know what I thought. Yeah, I don't. Well, I'm going to tell you anyway, because it is my business. Oh, and how do you make that out? Because you are my twin sister, and I care about what happens to you. You don't understand anything. Yes, I do. Everything. Everything about it has changed since you met her. Like what? Everything. 
your clothes, the things you do. You're already to my David, and then you met Susan. Oh, the fact that I broke up with David has got nothing to do with her. Really? Yes, really. And if it did, I owe her a debt of thanks. Oh, you don't. You don't owe her anything. She twisted you. You were happy. Oh, I was not. Yes, you were. You had a good job. Oh, I suppose she's to blame for that as well, is she? Yes. <laughs> Except you can't see it, which is why you need me to tell you all about it. You're too wrapped up here in, in everything, in your, li your little love nest. Are you Holly? No, you're not. You just hate it because you can't stand the fact that I can be this close to anyone else. What's going on? Nothing. You're messing Holly about. I beg your pardon. <laughs> you're getting inside her head. Yes, so she doesn't know who she is. Well, that's quite some challenge I've got. Yeah, oh yeah, just shrug it off, yeah. Pretend it's nothing. I well, should. what do you want me to do? Take you seriously? Duncan! What? Can you just stop this, please? No, I want to have my say. No, you've said enough. Why don't you say what's really eating you up, yeah? That you're worried that your sister's gone a little bit funny. What? Admit it. If I were gay, you couldn't handle it. No, but you're not, so it's a stupid question. But if I was? I mean, this is, this is her talking, you know. It is, it's her. She plays the tune, you follow. Simple. Oh, Duncan, give me a little bit of credit, please. I'm old enough to know what I want, and I'm old enough to stand up for myself. I don't need your protection. And what I am has got nothing to do with Susie or anyone else. This is to do with me. And that is why I broke up with David. That is why I quit my job. And when it comes to who I love, you might be interested to learn that Susie has tried to stop me. Yes! You think that she's lured me into some unnatural act where you couldn't be more wrong. She has tried to talk me out of it. But it doesn't change my feelings, Duncan. Do you understand what I'm saying? Well, you're telling me you're gay, is that what you what you're doing? Are you coming out? Yes, I think I am. Well, more family affairs at the same time tomorrow night, and don't forget the repeat every weekday lunchtime at midday 30. We're coming next ahead of that rather marvellous live coverage of Aston Villa's second leg UEFA Cup game against Athletic Bilbao, a short but special exclusive on Hollywood's hottest woman, Demi Moore.